Hello everybody, today's going to be a nice quick video. Uh, it's in answer to uh, somebody that posted a really good question on one of my previous channels. And basically it's all about how do I get WinUAE to just load up straight away with uh, my default configuration. Maybe I've got better workbench set up. So uh, for example, if I go into WinUAE, I've got my better workbench set up and I, I don't want to mess about with all of these start buttons or anything. I just want to click a button and straight away I'm in it. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to show you two ways on how you can do this. If you're new to win UAE, please check out the rest of my channel. I've got loads of videos on how to set up WinUAE and as well to set up better workbench. So uh, hopefully you should have some folder like this with WinUAE 64 in there. And if we load it up, we've got WinUAE. And in this example, I, I want uh, to go straight into better workbench. So what I can do is I'll double click on it and um, it just automatically loads up and and there we go I've got my setup but I want to speed things along a little bit the first way we can do it is if we go into our configs folder you'll see that we've got our better workbench.uae file so this is our configuration if I double click on it Windows is just going to come up with this message going mm, I don't know what to do with this well what do you want me to do with it so uh, what we can do is make sure that it's always ticked, always use this application to open UAE, and then just go to more apps. And then all we'll need to do is browse to the winuae64.exe file. So let's do that. So I've browsed to where I store winuae, and uh, there's the executable there. And I'll just click open. And then there we go in the background, if we move that a bit, there we go there's my setup so that's one way to do it and you'll see that that actually changes all of the other different setups so if i double click on tiny launcher this should just automatically load up tiny launcher for me there we go so that's a nice quick way of just loading up a configuration that you've got now if for some reason you're not really comfortable with doing that um then there is another way of doing it. What we can do is we can click and maybe for example, we want it on the desktop. What we can do is hold down the right mouse button on the WinUAE 64XE, and then we'll drag it over to the desktop and then we'll say create shortcut here. So there we go, we've got a shortcut to WinUAE 64. If I double click on that at the moment, yeah, that's nothing new. It's come up with the properties and um, that's not really what we want. We want to open up our better work workbench configuration automatically. What I can do is I can right click on the shortcut, go to properties, and then under the target area, basically I change this. So I do a space after, after the file name, so after the .exe, so space, and then I just type in my folder structure so the next bit is configs so you've got to be it's case sensitive so if you've got configs with a lower c um, in your structure you, you've got to copy it exactly so in my case it's configs with a capital c conf, oh, configs can't type today configs and then forward slash if i go in there it's called better workbench wb if I go to view and then just make sure that file name extensions are ticked, I can see that everything's got a .uae uh, extension after it. So if I go back here again to my targets, so it's config and then it's called better workbench .uae. So my target looks like something like this. So it's the path all the way up to winuae64.exe space then configs forward slash better workbench .uae. That's in my case. So if we click on apply on that, then we can rename the shortcut to something more meaningful, maybe my amazing 
workbench setup. Something like that. If we double click on that now, that will instantly load up that setup. And there we go. There's two ways of automatically setting it so that WinUAE just loads up a config of your choice straight away. You can carry on gaming. Right, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you wish to see more. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.